with the Academy Theater and the Genesee were at the center of my life. I saw the early Lon Chaney films, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I went down into the ravine going home. I got down on the bridge and my brother jumped out of the darkness at me and scared the hell out of me. The bridge there in the ravine is a very important part of my life. The wind and the leaves, especially in autumn, blew me down Washington Street to Carnegie Library. And I loved opening the library door and looking in and listening to all my friends in there. All the books talked to me. They all whispered. All the stacks were dark and mysterious and wonderful. When I was 12 years old, there was a carnival down by the lake and Mr. Electrico was there in his electric chair and he saw me and he put the sword on the top of my brow and on my nose and he shouted at me, live forever. My favorite uncle had died a few days before. There was a funeral on Sheridan Road there and I ran down the hill toward the lake, toward the carnival. What was I doing? I didn't realize. I was running away from death, wasn't I? I was running toward life. And by God, Mr. Electrico was sitting there on a bench as if he were waiting for me. He took me down to the beach and we sat on the dune and I let him talk his small philosophies and he let me talk my big ones because I was 12 years old and I was full of philosophy. <laughs> <laughs>